bring the espresso out. Ready? Doing... Yes. I'm Begin. Ready. Okay. So, uh, new espresso machine. Um, it's super cool. Um, it's going to take you a little bit to get used to it, but it is pretty simple. So, don't stress out. Um, in terms of weighing our shots, exactly the same. We're waiting on new naked porta filters. So, we've kind of rigged these pseudo naked porta filters. Um, they have these brass handles, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to get the balance on the scale, but as you can see, I just did it. It wasn't that hard. So, again, 19 grams. Volume metrics have not changed. Finding the balance points a little trickier. All right, we got 19. So distribute. And then because it doesn't lay flat, just make sure you're holding it flat when you tamp. All right. So you can use either of these beer pads. We're just going to use this one on the right. Um, rinse like you would. A lot, almost everything's going to be the same. So it's this button here on the right for your rinse. All right, it's rinsed. We're going to lock it in. Pretty much the same lock-in point as the La Marzocco. Please be gentle with these. You don't need to crank it. It does need to be in there tight, though. You've got your pitcher rinser right here. So instead of flipping a handle down to pull your shot, you've got two buttons here. The one on the left is your pre-infusion, and the one on the right is going to start your shot pulling. So we're going to play around in the next few days with figuring out what exact pre-infusion we want. But for now, I've just been pre-infusing for about six or seven seconds, and that seems to taste really good. Um, I encourage you to try it out for yourself. Try five seconds, try 10 seconds, see what you think tastes good, and let me know. We'll do some taste tests in the next few days. So we've got our porter filter locked in. We've got our espresso shot here. So pre-infusion, just press the button. It's going to start counting there. All right, now when it hits seven, I'm going to hit this button on the right, and now our shot's pulling and starting that counter there. Can you tell them about the mirror? Yeah, so there's also this cool little mirror here. Uh, if you get close to it, you can see the shot pulling, so you can see if it's channeling or not without having to, you know, get down and crane your neck like I always do. So it's a very kind of obvious feature that's really cool. And we're going to cut that there. So that was a total shot time of 34 seconds when you count the pre-infusion. There's your espresso shot right there. All right, and milk. Yes. So this is going to be the part that you guys are going to have the most trouble with, I would assume, just because milk steaming, everyone gets so specific with how they like to do it. So steaming on a new machine is always hard, but the principles are exactly the same. Instead of uh, flipping a paddle, you've got a button here. The cool thing about this is that it's dry steam right away, so I encourage you to still purge, but you're not going to have that water buildup like on the mob bar. So it comes out dry. And it's double insulated, just like the mob bar, so you can orient it however you want. Um, you know, turn it whatever angle you want. So it's one setting on or off. It's set a little bit uh, lower pressure than the um, mod bar steam. That's 1.8. This is 1.4. So you'll have a little more room for, uh, you know, to steam and get your whirlpool. Um, it's just going to take you a little bit of time. So I recommend just, you know, steaming some milk. You know, don't be wasteful, but figure out how it works. But same principles of aeration and incorporation. It's exactly the same. It's just oriented a little bit differently. So when you're ready to steam, you just press your button here. and then press the button to stop it. There you go. Boom. Thank you, Dan. Yes, please keep this thing clean. Please be nice to it. Uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs>